The Story of Creation, written by Alice Joyce Davidson, illustrated by Victoria Marshall. Alice was a little girl who went to Bible school. She learned the Ten Commandments, and she followed every rule. She had a Bible storybook with Bible pictures, too, and reading it was just about her favorite thing to do. One day, as she was reading How God Made Everything, an airmail bird brought Alice this note beneath his wing. Reading is the magic key to take you where you want to be. Her book became a magic screen. The screen grew tall and wide. Then Alice took a little walk to Bible Land inside. Alice went far back in time, before the world began, so she could see the wonders of God's creative plan. There was nothing yet to stand on, nothing yet to see, but Alice thought, I'm not afraid, for God is near to me. Then God began to make things. He made heaven, earth, and light. God called the bright light day, and he called the darkness night. And God saw everything was good, and everything was splendid, and the evening and the morning of the very first day ended. The second day, Alice watched God create the sky, filled with lovely, fluffy clouds that slowly drifted by. And God saw everything was good, and everything was splendid, and the evening and the morning of the second day had ended. The third day of creation, more changes came to be. God moved the waters of the earth and made land and sea. Alice was quite happy to stand on land once more, while God created lots of plants that were not there before. Clover, grass, and buttercups grew beneath her feet. Apple, pear, and fig trees gave Alice treats to eat. The wheat waved at the barley as a warm breeze stirred the air. Flowers bloomed with sweet perfume. God's gifts were everywhere. And God saw everything was good and everything was splendid. And the evening and the morning of the third new day had ended. The fourth day, God made stars and lights. The biggest was the sun. The sun shone during daytime, the moon when day was done. And God saw everything was good and everything was splendid. And the evening and the morning of the fourth new day had ended. Alice wished for company. The fifth day brought her wish. God filled the sky with birds that fly, and in the seas placed fish. And God saw everything was good, and everything was splendid, and the evening and the morning of the fifth new day had ended. The sixth day God created beasts, both great and small. And as he did, a thank you was heard from one and all. The elephants all trumpeted, the cattle all said moo, donkeys brayed and lions roared, the horses whinnied too. Hyenas laughed, the sheep said ba, a lion roared again, a puppy barked, a kitten meowed, and Alice said amen. Then God continued working on his creative plan. With love and in his image, God created man. God created man and woman, a husband and a wife. He put them both in charge of all the things he brought to life. God told them to have babies and to take the best of care of all of his creations on land and sea and air. And God saw everything was good and everything was splendid, and the evening and the morning of the sixth new day had ended.
On the seventh day, God rested from the work which he had done. God made that day a Sabbath day, a very holy one. Alice walked back through the screen, which became her book once more, and knew more how the world began than she had known before. And when she went to Bible school, she sang this song of praise about how God made everything in only seven days. Glory, 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 glory to our King, for out of nothing He has made every living thing. Glory, 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 a song of praise is due to God who made the whole wide world, including me and you. The End Thank you for listening.